All right, so now we have our uh, total cost here. The next step we gotta do is we gotta do gradient descent. And we're gonna use the back propagation algorithm that we use for uh, neural networks. There's a little bit of a, a tweak here because it's actually back propagation through time. And uh, so it will be slightly different than what we did in the past. So basically we have our cost function now, we have our parameters, we need to take the derivative of the cost with respect to the parameters and then find the minimum. I use the example of a mean squared error here for, for intuition, but in essence we use the cross entropy loss. So this is not the cost function for our problem, but it gives you a bit of an intuition on what we want to do. We initialize the weight, we have a point calculate the gradient and based on the sign of the gradient we make a step yeah? a step that is closer to the minimum in our case the parameters theta are u, v and w so we gotta take the derivative or the gradient with respect to these parameters now there's uh, something interesting happening uh, when we look at W, the gradient with respect to W, so I'm going to focus on this one and will not look at the other one. So, um, if we want to calculate the derivative of C4 with respect to W, we have a problem because it does not depend on W. So we got to go use a chain rule to get to here, to here, and then to W. So that's the same as dc4 dy predict 4 times dy predict 4 over s4 times s4 over w and that's nothing else than using the chain rule to go from here to here and to w okay so now we're going to focus on this one here um, and before we do that i'm going to make a definition uh, total derivative derivative total derivative of a function that depends on x and then u1 all the way to un and where the u's ui are also a function of x yeah so all these parameters are codependent on each other then the total derivative, the f, with respect to the x, is the f with respect to the x. So here we take the derivative with respect to x, and we, keep, we, we assume that all the u's are constant. And then we're going to add the f, du1, du1, dx, plus, and all the way to dun, sorry, df, dun, and dun with respect to x. So that's how we calculate the total derivative. This we, uh, we also use the explicit derivative, where you basically assume that all these u's are constant, and this is the, the implicit. Yeah? In the implicit derivative, you're basically going to look at all the indirect paths that can link S4 to W. So this is an indirect path, this is an indirect path, and this is an indirect path. Yeah? So here, if we apply this, we have DS4 with respect to W equals uh, DS4 with respect to W. That's the explicit, so assuming everything else is constant, and remember, S4 equals, we can see it here, is X4U, yeah, is UX4 plus uh, WS3 plus bias. Yeah. So this one here would actually give you S3 because you treat all the rest as a constant yeah? and then the implicit part we gotta add 
yeah, and that is the indirect path is ds4 to ds3 and then ds3 with respect to w alright and here we can again uh, write this as ds3 dw plus ds3 ds2 and then ds2 ds1 yeah. So that's the explicit implicit of this term only. And then we have this one here. Oh, sorry, this should be W. And here this one, this is DS2 DW plus DS2 DS1 DS1 DW. Alright, so now let me clean this up a little bit. DS4 DW equals DS4 DW yeah, plus uh, I'm gonna do this times these two. So we have this DS4 DS3 times 3S3 TW plus ds4 ds3 times this one ds3 ds2 and then we're gonna so this times this s4 s3 is this one and now this times this yeah ds4 s3 times this and then we're gonna have between brackets DS2 DW plus DS2 DS1 DS1 with respect to W. Alright? So now we gotta still calculate this one here. Yeah, so it's uh, DS4 DS3 DS3 DS2 times this one. DS2 DW, yeah, and then plus DS4 DS3 times DS3 DS2 times this one DS2 DS1 DS1 DW, yeah. Now, what we can do here is um, we can take these two out. And then here we can take this one out, this one out, this one out, this one out. Yeah, so we have that DS4 with respect to W equals DS4 with respect to W explicit plus, and then we have a sum of K is 1 to 3 of DS4 DSK and then DSK with respect to W. And yeah, you can clearly see that. Here K is 3. Here what we have is K is 2. And here what we have is 4 to 1, K is 1. Yeah. So this is basically uh, the formula for this one, right? This one comes here. Alright.